Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a tutorial on how to get instruments out of Logic into uh, FL Studio Mobile. This is very useful, especially if you want some better sounding patches that don't cost anything. Uh, the problem with FL Studio's uh, patches that you can buy is they cost money and frankly they don't sound any better than what you can get out of doing this. This also works with GarageBand, though the process is slightly different. I'll go over that in another video. Okay, first thing you want to do is open up uh, Logic Pro and create an empty project. It opened up over here for some reason. That's the joy of having multiple monitors. <laughs> it doesn't quite ever work where you want it to. Uh, yeah, output 1, 2 is fine. Create. This is a software instrument. And now you got to choose um, what instrument you want to do. In this case, um, I don't really want that. I think I'm going to go with a synthesizer of some sort. With brass. Uh, I'm sure it's over this one. There, that works. So, what you're going to need to do is you need to create seven of these. Uh, sorry, no, six of these. So you need to add five more. You can do that by pressing Command D on the keyboard, which will duplicate the track five more times. What you want to do is uh, we're just going to use musical typing in this case. It's the easiest. Uh, press Z on your keyboard until you get to C1. You could do C0, but it's, it doesn't quite line up right with, with uh, FL Studio later. Hit V, uh, 103 velocity seems to be the best, um, unless you want a softer sounding instrument, but that seems to be a good balance, what I found. Okay, and now what you're going to do is you're going to record this uh, for seven measures, because that'll get it a good long capture. So just wait for it to start. I'll start now. On just a low C, at C1 for seven measures. Okay. Now we're going to line this up. And then trim it. And then just delete the old bit. That looks all good there. And bring it back to the first part. And then we're going to copy this and simply place it uh, on the rest of the tracks. Now each track needs to be an octave higher than the last. What that means is if this one's on C1, as you can see here, we need the next one, track 2, here, to be on C2. And then this one, C3. And this one, C4. This one, C5. And finally, C6. Okay, that should do it. Now what you want to do is you're going to turn up the volume on all of these, as far as I can go. And now it's time to start exporting. Okay, what you want to do now is export each one of these tracks as a different WAV file. So right-click on the first one, scroll down to Export, and click on Export as Audio File. You want to make sure the save format is WAV. Make sure the bit depth is set to 16. And then I would recommend you select the Include Audio Tail as well. For the first one, you're going to name it C1. Should finish pretty quickly. And do the same thing with the next one, uh, but instead call it C2. And again. We're going to do this for each one. Okay. Once you've done that, um, you're going to want to pull up the folder that houses these files and create a new folder. And we're going to call this 80s synth brass. 
and place all the files in there. Once that's done, right click on the folder and select compress. The next step is to copy it to FL Studio's documents. To do that, plug in your iDevice. And then you want to start iTunes. You're going to want to scroll down all the way to the bottom and select on FL Studio HD. Um, <laughs> you can ignore my death threat here. Um, people tried to connect to my Wi Fi recently and it was annoying me, so I put that up and hoped it helped. Um, you're going to pull up that uh, zip file you just created and you're simply going to drag it and drop right here in the HD documents section and it should be listed there. Your next step is going to be pulling it up in the app. So once you have FL Studio loaded up you're going to want to go to projects, scroll down until you find your new instrument. It should be labeled as zip. Double tap on it. It should say unzipping and then click OK. It should say instrument added. Then you can head into instruments and you should see your new instrument is selected. I'd recommend you push the volume up all the way. And now you should be able to hear your instrument play. And as you may notice, should sound pretty much the same. Now, if you want to get picky, you can always change um, the amount of tracks you have and what pitches you use. You could double this and have fifths instead of just root notes and it would come out a little bit cleaner. Um, it's the same process. Just make sure when you export the fifth instead of the root note, uh, you name it properly. So if this is a C chord, you would label the fifth as G1 and then the next one would be C2 and then G2 and then C3 and G3, etc, etc. That's just about it. Uh, this works with any instruments. Um, including ones that may have been imported or uh, plugins used. It all works perfectly um, and it's fairly efficient and will save you a lot of money. Uh, if you're using GarageBand, I recommend you check out my other video which will go over this process but with GarageBand. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope it helped.